Welcome back. Today in lesson three, you're going to learn how to have a character hide and reappear. You're going to create thought bubbles for a character, and you're going to create a new backdrop and switch it. Another word for backdrop would be setting. Before we get started, my dad wanted me to let you all know that he is a digital immigrant, which means he is not comfortable using new technology. And that's exactly why I wanted him to beta test it. I want this to be accessible to anyone and everyone who's interested in teaching children how to use this. So let's get started with having a character hide and reappear. The first thing, I'm going to hit the stop sign and space key. The first thing that we have happen here is the bat shouting back, great, you're it. And now I want to click the bat and I want to have the bat glide over to the edge over here. And under motion, I'm going to click glide. So after broadcast message to glide over. And then under looks, I'm going to have the character hide. So it should give the impression that it's going across the screen and then hiding. And when that happens, I want the referee to think, where did he go? So if you recall with the bat, the bat broadcast message two. So under the referee, we're going to click events and say, when I receive two, so that's when I receive message two, and you'll notice the two is already set up there, go back to looks, and then instead of say, you're going to click think. So think, where did he go? And then go back to events and click broadcast. But you'll notice, and again, this is very tricky for students, it says two. So it's very important to remind them when I receive two, the second message, you're broadcasting the third message. So you need to go down to new message and type in three. Okay, and before we go to switching the backdrop, let's just see where we are so far. So I'm going to click the stop sign space key and see how everything's running. Check for any glitches. That flies, disappears. Now, we notice the first glitch, right? Under the referee, he's saying where did he go while he hasn't disappeared yet. So it's important under control to put in a wait. Wait is your best friend when things aren't running smoothly. So it's saying, well, let's wait maybe three seconds before that happens, okay? And then we want a new backdrop. So I'm gonna have the bat fly to the sandbox. That's where the bat's uh, trying to run away during this game of tag. So under here it says, choose new backdrop from library. So I've clicked stage and now I'm gonna click choose new backdrop. And I'm going to click the beach. And again, I know it's not a perfect sandbox, but kids can use their imagination. And we'll learn how to edit it later where we can take the water out. But we won't get ahead of ourselves now. So I'll click that. And now we have the beach. So you'll go back to the referee by clicking the referee. And this will come up. And that you'll often see the students will get stuck and going, well, where did my code go? Don't worry, you just have to click scripts up here. And then under looks, you can say switch backdrop to Beach Malibu. Every, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction that's required. So if you don't also switch backdrop to Beach Malibu up here and Instead of when space key is pressed, you don't want the beach Malibu, you want the Adam playground. Sorry, I left that there when I was practicing. <laughs> okay, oh, here's a great way to see how to take things apart and fix things. Um, you're always dragging from the bottom, so you can take it apart here, and then you'll see it comes down from whatever you click and below it, uh, it gets down there. Um, but so what we wanted to put in, and here I'll set it over here just so we can see it, is switch backdrop to Adam Playground. So now it'll have the playground in the beginning instead of the beach. So we've got let's play tag. Great, you're it. That flies away, disappears. 
Where did he go? Boom. The backdrop switches. But before I want the backdrop to switch, I want the referee to run across the stage and then have it switch for him as well. So I'm going to glide him over there, and it's important to glide him first. And then under motion, I'm going to say glide over there before we switch the backdrop. I also noticed when the bat was talking, it was facing the wrong way. So I want to go under costumes and see, oh, I want bat 1A there. So I'll go under looks and say switch costume to bat 1A. Okay. And also from my, when I was practicing, sorry about that, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. If you tell the bat to hide later, it's going to hide forever uh, when you try to replay it. So it's important to say when the space key is pressed now, I want you to show up. So you're telling the bat, I want you to show up when the space key is pressed, but later I want you to hide. So we've just done a lot of changes and tried a lot of different things. So let's run it and see where we're at so far. So the bat flies in, let's play tag. Great, now the bat's facing the right way. I'm gonna have to fix that. Now it's flying away backwards. Where did he go? Run across and then it switches. So the first thing I noticed was it switched a little bit too quick. So I wanna put in a weight. And then I forgot to have the bat switch costumes and face the other way. And I can double check under costumes. Okay, that's bat 1A2 that's facing this way. Then I'll go back to scripts. And if at any point I'm going too fast, please don't forget it's you use the pause button, rewind, check it again. I know sometimes I'm talking quickly, so um, please definitely utilize that feature to help you out. But now we want to come in and say switch costume to, and now I forgot it, sorry. That 1A2, right? And then have it glide away. So let's see it where we're at right here. Great. You're it. Turns back around. Now I'm thinking, where did he go? I run across and it switches. So that time it was a little bit delayed. So under the weight, you can also do half seconds. So I'm going to put period 5, 0.5 seconds. And I want to give another second for where did he go because he was talking pretty quick. So let's try that. I'm hitting the stop sign to reset everything, space key. And now we'll see how the story is going. Let's play tag. Great, you're it. That flies away, disappears. I'm thinking, where did he go? I'm running over to check it out and it switches to the beach, which I know is going to be the sandbox. And that is it for today.